Hey guys, Brett Williams here from LifeWithOptions.net and on today's video, it's going to be a bit different. I want to talk to you about Life With Options and the coaching and a bit about my own personal story. But first, we're going to go for a bit of a walk instead because we can't have that conversation here. So let's go and find somewhere else. This spot over here, I think sounds fantastic. Okay, so the first question in there is what is life with options? And I guess to be able to get into that and to be able to answer that one, I need to give you a bit of a background story on myself. See, life with options was a concept in my mind probably about five or six years ago when I declared to the world that I'm going to master myself. And as I was going through my darkest days, which were very much contemplating all of the deep, dark things around what am I doing here? And even having those very, very dark days of you know the consideration of suicide and things like that. It happens, it's part of our journey. It's what we do with it that counts. And in those darkest times for myself, those three words, life with options, is what really stood out to me. I don't know exactly where they came from, but all I know is that those three words gave me the internal focus to be able to pull myself through those darkest moments in my life. So that's basically where Life With Options was born. It was through my darkest days, and it was that vision that pulled me through. Because Life With Options ultimately means freedom. And if that's freedom of mind, freedom of heart, freedom of living life in the way that you choose and how you want to interact and show up and respond to the world rather than unconsciously reacting to the world, then that is exactly what Life With Options is and that's exactly what has been pulling me through this whole five six years but what I do know is that my journey was exactly perfect as it is so if you're currently going through stuff be it like myself at the time a very emotionally damaging and challenging relationship breakup and other family matters going on at the same time caring for my grandparents and uh, my grandmother passing away about four years ago you know if you're dealing with all this sort of stuff as well and you're in it you're in it all of that dark murky waters that comes with all of that then just know that it too shall pass. It was in my own personal journey where I decided to start mastering myself and really going inward to understand what triggered my thoughts, what triggered my emotions, who am I, what is it that Brett likes? Because for many years being a people pleaser, I found myself too busy going about life for other people and just making the decisions based on upon that. You know, maybe you can relate. Are you a people pleaser? Are you constantly giving to other people? Then you sort of think, you know, I don't even like that. Like, what is it that I'm doing it for? Like, why? So I deep dived into that for myself because I understood the purpose and the power in doing so was gonna then play out in the long run for myself to really help other people. That's what I've come to realize on the other side of that five year journey that my whole experience through this, my self exploration has really been so that I can empower others to move through it in a much, much quicker way. So it was the challenges that I went through on the other side of that relationship, just rebuilding myself. And then the challenges as a carer for my grandparents, all whilst I was trying to just smile to the world and pretend like everything was perfectly okay when the reality was that everything inside was just in absolute turmoil so that's where life with options has come from it's come from my darkest days and it's come from the the deepest of my heart to really want to help empower and impact other people's lives so that they too can move through it in a quicker way because when I was going through it myself partly through a conscious decision but I chose to go through it alone maybe you're going through something right now alone and you can relate it's challenging it's hard and my viewpoint at the time was that there was nobody around that had the capacity to be able to deal with what it was that I was going through. But what I also realized now looking back was the fact that I didn't understand how to convey it. I didn't know the own strength in my own self to be able to convey what it was that I was processing because the people around me would just otherwise just pat me on the back and go, you know what, it's okay. There's a lot going on right now. And when you're in it, when you're going through all of that and you're trying to process and you're trying to see the clearness on the other side, just having somebody tell you that it's gonna be okay helps, yes. But it doesn't truly allow you a clear path through it. By getting to know myself, going to the depths of my own darkness and being able to walk through it, it allows me to be able to walk through it with you. Be that through the one-on-one -on -one coaching or be that through the Path to Self Mastery program or be it through some of the up and coming group programs that I'm intending to create. Because if I haven't dealt with my own demons, then there is no way that I can help other people. And I realized that over the last number of years, going through it and dealing with my own stuff, it has given me the space and the capacity to be able to be there for other people. That's where Life with Options is evolving over the last 
last year. It's becoming everything that my heart longed for and desired. It's becoming that coaching program. It's becoming the support system for those that are going through challenging times right now and giving them a path through it and guiding them back to their heart and connecting in with themselves and really mastering themselves. My ultimate goal in anything that I do is to actually empower you, empower you to understand yourself in a deeper way so that you can move through things by yourself. Because as much as we are in this world together, ultimately we are in this world alone at the same time. I'll give an example, when I moved from Perth to Sydney, see, when I was in Perth, I was starting to shift my mindset, starting to shift and think about different things. And I thought, brilliant, I'm gonna move to Sydney and I'm gonna be able to elevate myself, I'm gonna be able to step into my true self and you know, be everything. But the thing that I realized so damn quickly was the fact that, sure, I might have moved states, but the one thing that came with me was me, myself all of my habits, all of my traits. So as much as I'd moved location, I still had to process everything that was going on for myself. So I then spent the first year and a half to two years in some level of isolation, moving through that stuff in my own head again by myself, because I know the power of moving it through myself, because if I can walk through it, I can guide you through it. So that's exactly what I've done over the last year and a half. That's my journey, walking through my own stuff so that I can best help and guide other people through theirs. And as said, I'm not coming from a a textbook exercise. I'm coming through my own real world experiences. And what that means is I can promise you that we're gonna get breakthroughs. If you choose to work with me, now sure, not everybody's gonna resonate with my style, not everybody's gonna wanna work with me, and I get that. But see, the people that do resonate with me, those people pleasers out there, those people that are lost, looking for a way through the darkness so that they can become strong within themselves. If you're like me, like I was five years ago, absolutely lost and not really knowing where I was going and, and how to be myself, trying to work out who who am I in this world? If you've ever asked that question, then I honestly believe that we can work together and we can definitely empower you so that you know the answer to that question. So that being said, what are you waiting for? Are you looking for that one-on-one -on -one coaching experience so that it can be mentored through something? Or are you sitting on the fence and just thinking, you know what, I'm not sure. Because if you're not sure, then I'll take away the risk. Then go here and book in a free one-hour chat. So if you're ready to work with me, then go ahead, go and set up that time, go and book it in with my calendar. And you know what, I'm excited. I generally am excited to be working with you. The thing is, it's for me, having gone through my own darkness, it allows me to see the light in everybody else. So if you're sitting in this place and you're thinking that the whole world's against me, don't worry, I can see that light within you and I'm not gonna let that dim. So go on, book in that free one hour session and let's sit down and have a chat and let's see what we can do together because I know that I can help. That being said, guys, if you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love and I look forward to talking to you on that one-on-one -on -one chat. See you soon.